Princess and the Pea Once upon a time, there was a powerful kingdom. The queen was very protective about the prince of the state, who was her only son. She gave the prince with the best of everything. As the prince grew young, he was ready to marry. A prince must marry a princess. Don't look at any beautiful face. A princess is not only a daughter of a king and a queen, but also she should be a delicate with a good sense of clothing. The most important thing is she has a voice of an angel, the queen said. The queen allowed her son to travel for many days. The king was pleased with the prince, as he was handsome and polite, to see his doctor in her room, who was studying a poem in a well dressed. The prince was shocked and disappointed because her voice was husky. Then he traveled to the next next boring kingdom. After he reached the king and the queen, he was immediately invited to meet their doctor, who was eating milk greedily, and left her with her food. The prince had traveled for many days and places, but he couldn't find the best girl to marry. Then he returned to his kingdom sadly and told his parents about his journey. Oh, how sad! But luckily you don't bring any of them or your life may be miserable, the queen said. There was a thunderstorm that night. The servant opened the door. There was a girl standing outside with a wet cloak due to rain. My driver got lost in the rain. I followed the light in your castle. Would you mind to provide us a shelter for a night? Said the beautiful princess with her smooth voice. The queen disliked her at the first glance and planned to prove that she was not a princess. I'll put her to a test. Tonight, we will offer her a royal bed to sleep. And under the ten luxurious matrices, the servant will put an uncooked pea. If she is a princess, she will be delicate enough to fill the pea, said the queen. The ladder was kept for her to the bed. The girl woke up and said to the servant, Restless, please don't tell this to the prince. I felt like there is a brick inside it. I couldn't sleep the entire night. After the prince knew it from the servant, he directly came to her and said, You are a true princess, aren't you? Please marry me. The princess accepted as if she would never sleep on the bed again. Then they got married and lived happily forever.